Um, next one is Mikkel Kaufmann, uh, young Karlsruhe striker. Um, 10 goals, 8 assists in 30 games. Uh, second Bundesliga game, I should add, for Karlsruhe. Um, already confirmed to join Union Berlin. This Union Berlin, once again, you know, doing getting things done quickly. This was a player who was linked with a lot of uh, clubs in the Bundesliga and Union did win the race. Um, I mean, I, I wrote an article about this um, a few months ago um, in February about Union Berlin and their transfer strategy and how they uh, tend to cast in that really wide, uh, trying to catch as many players as possible. And, you know, they have a big squad, traditionally always have. Um, Urs Fischer likes to rotate his players because it's a very demanding style of football. Um, also, they, they often catch and release uh, in terms of that they sign a player and then six months later they will move that player on right um so this feels like a very typical union berlin signing in that that they see the potential there is a, there's a very small transfer fee involved 2.7 million euros which is really not a lot for a team that is going to play in the champions league at the olympia stadium in front of 74,500 fans three times and that's going to be incredible, Stefan. I think we're going to we probably have to do a trip to Berlin just to experience that. But this is such a typical Union Berlin signing in so many ways. Yeah, it is. Uh, it seems like a very smart young signing. It seems to be like he had to take a couple of bites of the cherry before he kind of really kind of established himself in German football. But he did that and then some last season. And what really intrigues me about him is that he kind of looks like a very impressive kind of all-round second striker um and that makes me think that you know not only is he a kind of great kind of squad player to have uh obviously as you said a very young player with bags of potential uh but i think he could also maybe fill in a number of the positions up front for Ber uh, for union next season you know they don't have the kind of most dynamic front line they've also got some outstanding players shrado becker is the most obvious one but Kind of number of those kind of forward players are now on the backside of beyond 30, shall we say, 31, 32. Jordan P. Fox Sabachu didn't quite work out last season. Um, I'm going for his full name because I can't remember which one we've shortened it to, uh, depending on where you are in the world, it would seem. I think we, I know we did on transfer mark, but I could have swore he, uh, he went, uh, anyway, okay, I'll go with Jordan. Um, so, yeah. I think, you know, I think there's definitely far more to come from him next season as well. You know, I was, very, I was actually, if subscribers or listeners can remember back to us talking about the transfer shows ahead of last season, he was one of the players I, was, I think I was really excited to see how he could do because his fantastic goal scoring record before he moved to Germany. So I think there's more to come from him as well. Uh, but, you know, I also kind of think um, if it is, if, if, if you know, if Geraldo Becker is indeed, you know, lined up to leave the club this summer, and I think that's a big if, because on the one hand, he has been kind of, you know, um, flirting with the idea of moving to the Premier League, shall we say, um, for a while now. He's quite open about his admiration to play at that level, and, you know, after everything he's done for Union, especially last season, getting into the Champions League, I don't think fans would be entirely, you know, disappointed if he said you know i've done everything i can here i'm going to move on um but at the same time you know they've obviously then got the champions league to play for and it'd be a shame if he was to leave before he got to experience that and he might choose to opt and stay for another season but if he was to move on klaufman strikes me as a kind of player who can kind of fill in there in a certain sense you know like becker he's a player who can score goals but he can also create goals just as readily and play around across that kind of front three he could play off someone like jordan uh, and he's just a great all-round player. And this is exactly what we we, we've come to expect from Union. They do cast their net out far and wide. They do kind of have a scattergun approach to the transfer market. But I think a, lot, a large part of that comes down to the fact that when you have such a good man-manager in someone like Urs Fischer, it means when it works, it really works. You know, look at Juranovic, the kind of uh, Celtic right-back that they signed the Croatian International in January and how he just so quickly just settled straight into that team and very quickly established himself as one of the key players and we've seen that countless times with players at, at Union so 
you know, the reality is that they do tend to sell star players every season. I think over the last three years, they've averaged about 20, 25 million euros uh, per summer uh, from signing, from selling players. But now playing in the Champions League might kind of change that. So we'll wait and see what happens with Becker. But all I'm saying is if he does move on, it looks like they may have a replacement in hand. Yeah, the, the, the squad next season, um, as I said, Sven Michel and Kevin Behrens are both 32, right? They are moving up Malik Sanogo from the uh, youth team, who's a German uh, American striker um, and extremely talented, only 19 years old. So he's moving up to the first team as well. But it's going to be fascinating to see what that team um, looks like next year. And yeah, Kaufmann, keep an eye on him. I usually on your Berlin get you know, get those transfers right. 